Welcome! I'm really excited to start sharing all these videos with you. It's been a long process. I've been traveling a lot these last months, recording and editing all the material, but the moment is finally here. As you can see, this first episode of the fourth wall series is about Ronchamp from Le Corbusier. It is a building that I personally adore. It has many of the qualities of the architecture that I like. So I would like to walk you through the building and its concepts. I selected five of the main concepts of the building and what I'll do is explain each one of them as simply as possible. The chapel is located in a small French village in the east of France, very close to the border with Germany, from where it takes the name, Ronchamp. The approaching route to the chapel is from the southeast, and you can only see the full building when you reach it. It is located on the top of the hill, constantly dominating and overseeing the town. This is a quick sketch of the relation between the two. When you are there, you can feel the importance of the location and how it controls all the landscape. For me, the control of the light in the building is the most important concept and the one that defines the spaces the most. It is a concept that he uses in many of his buildings, but I think Ronchamp has to be the most important. He uses a massive wall oriented to the south to control the intense midday light and allows the softer mid-afternoon light get inside the chapel and bathe the space. He also separated the roof from the walls and included louvers on top of the secondary doors. Here you can see the louvers over the north entrance. To complete the concept, he uses skylights in the small chapels of the building that bring light from above. Although the arrangement of the windows in that south wall, so characteristic and imitated in many many buildings after, doesn't follow a pattern, According to the writer Robert Coombs, who published the book about the chapel, the upper string of windows responds to the Virgo constellation being the lower one, Hydra. Le Corbusier used to say, each of us, according to his own psychology, is controlled by one or more dominant colors. Color is a theme that appears in all his buildings. Ronchamp is no exception, he uses very specific color palettes in all his buildings. The classes in the south wall show different colors, shapes and proportions, and color the interior of the building when the light goes through them. And in this case, the glasses were painted by himself. The skylights in the three towers that contain the secondary chapels have different colors, white, red and violet. The interior of one of the three chapels is also painted red. For the main entrance of the building, he used the pivoting door, painted half in blue, half in red, showing the opposite duality of both. He used exactly the same door concept in the Heidi Weber Museum.
I believe one of the qualities of the building is the honesty that it shows in its construction and details. It is a very simple building with modest materials and solutions. The floor follows the slope of the site towards the main altar and has a very simple furniture and no decorations. The only religious image in the building is the Madonna and the Child in the east wall, behind the main altar. This sculpture also serves the outside altar during open air ceremonies. Le Corbusier was also requested to have the possibility to celebrate bigger ceremonies. Instead of making a much bigger building, he came up with the idea of doing an external altar that could be used in special occasions. And the last point that I would like to talk to you about the chapel is impossible to avoid the iconic roof. Although he uses concrete in all the building, only the roof has it exposed. It has a very organic shape, showing the concave shape on the inside of the building. According to several theories, it imitates a shell, praying hands, a bird, And looking really massive and heavy, it is an empty structure, very light, only supported by pillars embedded in the south and east walls. Facing west, the horns act as a fountain when it rains. The concrete roof slopes towards the back of the chapel and they pour the water off the roof and down to the concrete structures, creating an artificially natural fountain. And those were my five concepts I wanted to talk to you about. Location, light control, color, honesty and the roof. Did you miss anything about the chapel? Let me know in the comment section below. There's much more to come, so if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you next week.